There is no such thing as an off day when it comes to the Denver Broncos. Mike Kliss joining us now. And Mike, Denver adding a new quarterback, although bringing him aboard is easier said than done nowadays. Yeah, Blake Bortles has to pass the COVID protocols. He'll have a couple days of that, but he'll sign with the team on Friday. He might be the backup on uh, for the game against Tampa Bay on Sunday. Interestingly, uh, both Bortles and Jeff Driscoll, who's going to start for the Broncos against the Bucks, they went to uh, the same town in an in a Orlando suburb. They're cross-town rivals, and so they're getting together, coming uh, full circle again. But Bortles will be the new quarterback with Drew Lockdown for a couple weeks with a shoulder injury. Mike, the NFL not messing around when it comes to following COVID protocols. They hit uh, over $1 million for a couple teams last night. Those fines came out. One of those teams, the Denver Broncos. Yeah, the NFL really stiff, coming down hard on the Broncos. $250,000 fine to the organization, 100000 on Fangio. I think they want to send a message to America that you have to wear a mask, and also they want to protect the health and safety of their players. I mean, they don't want the Patrick Mahomes of the world to come down with a virus and be out a couple weeks. There's a lot of money at stake for the NFL, so we'll see if the uh, – Broncos appeal. It's five times greater fine than when they got caught cheating in the video gate scandal, Josh McDaniels in 2010. Stiff penalties. A lot going on with the Denver Broncos on what is usually an off day for Mike, thank you very much.